Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Project Ozone 3 Kappa. So this episode, instead of working on our sieves and things like that that we've been working on the last few episodes, I think we're going to turn our attention over to our armor quest line. Yep, last time we worked on this, we made uh, whatever armor that is. I can't remember what this is called. Hard Carbon Arbor. And since then, we have started getting into mechanism, so we should be able to start working towards the glowstone armor. And then it's in a nuclear craft for the tough alloy armor, which we've made tough alloy before. But yeah, we kind of got locked out of this quest because of the mechanism stuff. And then it's into some twilight forest stuff, and then into abyssal craft armor. Mm hmm. So yeah, we got a bunch of stuff here. I'd like to see how far we can get with the armor selection. I would like to start moving into better armor overall. Okay, so first stop is this glowstone armor, which means that we are going to need uh, glowstone ingots. Okay, so glowstone ingots are made through an osmium compressor and you need to provide it with osmium, or I guess liquid osmium, you can just put in osmium ingots into the special slot here and that just automatically liquefies it. You don't have to melt it or whatever. But yeah, so the osmium and then we need the material that we're going to be using with this. Now the osmium compressor can be used to make a few different things here. Uh, I guess just two things apparently. <laughs> just refined obsidian ingots and glowstone ingots. Okay, I thought it actually had more uses than that. Apparently not. Well, that's fine. Anyway. Uh, so osmium compressor is the next thing that we need to make. So that is four enriched alloys. Nope, that is going to be eight enriched alloys, which means eight capacitors. Can we craft that? I'm not actually sure. Uh, capacitors, if I want to craft up eight of these, will it allow us to do this? I mean, it says that we can queue it up and it looks like we have all of the materials. Do it. <laughs> That's awesome. It's great knowing that we can craft up eight of those capacitors, which used to be like the worst thing ever for us to craft. We can just tell the system, yeah, I want eight of those and it'll just go ahead and do it for us. Okay, so this thing is doing what it's doing. It's gonna take a lot longer than the three minutes it's claiming here. And then I also wanna show you the uh, ore pieces. So yeah, we are collecting quite a lot of ores from our sifting operation now. Uh, tin, nickel, platinum, copper, lead, gold, osmium, and of course, silver. Uh, so iron ore pieces, we had a lot more than what we have here. I took a bunch of those, turned it into the ore chunks and smelted those down. We were up to about 12,000. I think, I think we've gained about three or 4,000 since the last time that I, uh, checked this. So yeah, anyway, we were about 12,000. I brought us down to 6,000 or so. Yeah, now we're back up to 8,000. So we're getting this stuff quite quickly. As you can see, that number is just constantly climbing here, which is great. Um, but yeah, all of these resources coming in, we're not going to have to worry about running out of pretty much anything. Osmium uh, is something that we need to make sure we got plenty of, and it looks like we do. So that is fantastic. All right. So pretty much the next thing we need to do is just kind of wait for uh, these capacitors to be made so I can turn them into the enriched alloys, and then of course into the advanced control circuits. And then the machine frame itself requires a little bit of stuff here. Do we have that, or machine casing? Do we have that on auto craft? If not, let's make a pattern for that and see if we can tell the system to auto craft that thing. So that is a steel casing, not a machine casing. Uh, dark steel ingots, transistors, and a machine frame. I think we should be good to just throw it in here somewhere. Got so much space in this auto crafting thing now. Uh, machine, ca no, I steel casing, steel casing. Can we craft you? It looks like we got everything. So let's go ahead and start that one up as well. So that's going to be doing just a little bit of stuff here. Some transistors to be made. Yeah, that's awesome. And it doesn't look like it's doing anything probably because it's trying to make these electrum ingots right now and our uh, alloy smelter is being used by our other craft, if I had to guess, and looks like it is. Yep, so when that finishes up, this will finish, and it's just a waiting game now, so I'm gonna go ahead and wait for these things to finish, and we'll be right back, guys. 
All right, so our osmium compressor is done, and while I was kind of waiting on that, I was thinking of other things that I should be doing around the base. So I upgraded our CPUs a little bit, and I'm currently crafting another 16K processor. So our CPUs down here now have eight coprocessors each. They're still the 16K in the center, but they have eight coprocessors up from two. So they can do, what is that, like nine separate subcrafts all at the same time per CPU. That's pretty good. And then I set up another thing here so we can put another CPU in once we get that 16K, or I guess another crafting storage for another CPU once we get that 16K uh, processed. But yep, that's where we are right now for that. Uh, but like I said, the Osmium compressor is now complete. So I don't know if we get a quest complete. We do, okay, very good. Uh, let's go back, let's take a look at that. That is under Tau. Yeah, so Osmium Compressor, we get a quest complete for that, and then Refinement, that wants us to make both the Refined Obsidian and the Glowstone Ingots. Okay, we're really only concerned about the Glowstone for right now, and then we can also make the uh, Tier Installer, right? What does that cost? Is that expensive? That's not expensive. We can do the Tier Installer to upgrade it so the Osmium Compressor can then do three things at a time as opposed to just the one, and then we might want to get ourselves... Um, the speed upgrades for that also, I believe. Uh, we are being blocked in the alloy smelter. Yeah, it's gotta craft a bunch of different things here, so that might take a minute. Uh, so let's see, if we wanted to get the speed upgrades, that is, I don't remember, are those capacitors each? Those are two capacitors each. Yeah, that's expensive. Okay, we're not gonna worry about that. <laughs> All right, so Osmium Compressor will upgrade to a factory as soon as our auto crafting can do that. Yeah, I think we're just gonna put that guy right here. All right, so Osmium Compressor here. We need to bust out that. That's a conduit facade. And what do we have under here? I need to remind myself, get a wrench. So under there, we just have conduit. Now this thing did require a special item. Now if I do a shift left Click on this basic item filter. Okay, so we are filtering that. So let's take a look at this basic item filter. We do have another one. What does that sound? Oh, okay, I guess that did something. I thought there was like a slime or something nearby. I was like, what was that sound? Anyway, uh, end steel grinding ball. Why do I not have a filter for that anymore? Uh, oh, you know what? Because this will automatically pull into that slot. I think that's why I decided I didn't need that anymore. So now we need item conduit. Let's put that into here. Do a uh, shift left click with this thing. That's going to be on the insert one. And then we're going to get rid of the filter and we're going to swap that with, what are we going to swap that with? We are going to swap that with Osmium ingot. Like so whitelist and then we'll have that set to an insert all right i think that's all we need to do oh actually that's needed to be set to purple on the color as well okay so now we need to figure out where we are getting these other things from this one i expect right okay so if we put osmium here let's do that we put osmium here, it should start extracting and putting over into this thing. Yep, looks like we are pretty much good to go. And that has turned into the liquid osmium. So now all we gotta do is get an interface here and set up the auto crafting like we do. So do I have an extra interface? I don't, but can we craft one? Looks like we can. Hopefully that won't take too terribly long to craft up, although it might depending on some of these things. And if we're being blocked by other things, uh, looks like it's crafting the vivid alloy. So we might not get blocked at all here. And then I'm going to wait on the capacitors. But other than that, I think we should be okay. Crafting up the transistors. Now we're doing the basic control circuits. And that one's done. All right. Very good. Interface get. Right, so now we have an interface there, so we can start working on some things here. So side config, we want to change the top to the input, bottom to the extra, which we have. The back needs to be set to output, and then we get rid of this one. We don't want that. Okay, and then on the back of this, obviously, we need to extract out of it, so we need another item conduit. 
and that'll be just set to always active on the green. And that all goes into this interface here, which will just complete any auto craft that we have set up. So now we just need to tell this thing uh, that one glowstone equals a glowstone ingot. Uh, actually, let's make one real quick. We'll just put one glowstone in there. Ooh, that's slow. I really want the speed upgrades. I guess I could probably steal them out of another one of these machines that has the upgrades in there. Don't we have one that has upgrades? This one, we could steal the upgrades so we can do this a little bit faster. Oh, you know what? We also need energy conduit, don't we? How are we providing these other ones with energy? Ah, right there. Okay. So conduit and ender energy. That is not <laughs> where that goes. There it is. All right, and then a shift left click on here and we're gonna set that on the energy to insert only. Okay, now we should be good. Power is full, awesome. So we have the glowstone and we have the refined glowstone ingot. We should be able to make a crafting or a processing pattern now for this. So we'll do ooh, one of these and I just saw there was a seed. I didn't know there was a seed for this. What is What level is a seed and how many items do we need? So that is a tier four. And to make that seed, we need 36. That's probably gonna be what we do. We're gonna queue up 35 more of these refined glowstone. Let's get that in there though. Osmium. Yeah, we will craft up 35 more refined glowstone. Or I guess they're just called glowstone ingots. So 35 next start. Yep. And about three years later, that should finish up. <laughs> I might, I might go grab our tick acceleration and bring it over here. Do I have the wand on me somewhere? Oh, I can never find that when I'm looking for it. The linking wand. It's in here and I'm staring right at it, aren't I? I don't see it at all. I don't know what I did with it. I'll find it. I'll go get some tick acceleration. I'll bring it over here. Hopefully that I'll speed things up. We'll be back guys. And just like that, we have 10, 10, 10 glowstone ingot seeds. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's the power uh, and magic of editing video. <laughs> all right. So yeah, a little bit of time has passed since the uh, last clip there. I went ahead and I got all 36 of those ingots made. I was able to tick accelerate our osmium compressor over here and yeah, I went and made the seeds and 10, 10, 10 them. And now we have all of the refined glowstone, which is awesome. Well, we don't have it yet. We will in just a second. There we go. Now we have all of it. All right. So now that we have that, we should be able to do our quest that we wanted to do here, which was the Iota glowstone armor we want to make the glowstone yeah so if we do at mech glowstone we should be able to find all these different pieces here and that's all on the high tech bench okay let me take that off my hand here and that over here and grab i don't want to wear it mm, okay so i guess i gotta right click and then do that for each piece okay very good so now we have that high tech bench. Let's do a shift click on this one and a shift click on that one, one on this one, and of course the boots. There we go. So there is the full set of glowstone armor. Very good. All right, I'll put the rest of the glowstone ingots away for now. So the next quest in that line, that would be Tough alloy. So we are gonna need a bunch of tough alloy. Are there seeds for tough alloy? It does not appear there are. Okay, so how much tough alloy do we have? 59, is that gonna be enough to make the uh, the armor set? I'm not actually sure how many we need. Mm, what's the recipe for that? Just out of curiosity. That was Pharaoh Boron plus Lithium. All right, so I guess I pre-made some of that up a little bit ago. Let's see if we can craft this up. So we wanted to do tough alloy helmet, the chest plate. Ooh, down to 29. That's not looking super great. 
Uh, 16 remaining. Is that enough? Whoop. Is that enough? That's enough. And we ended up with eight left over. So that's pretty good. All right. So tough alloys done. All right. I actually didn't think we we're be able to do that right away, but very good. So steel leaf. Okay. So steel leaf requires a whole lot of steel leaf from the twilight and steel leaf does have a seed. So how much steel leaf do we have? 16. That's not looking super good. Is it? Uh, so the recipe on steel leaf comes from the essence, which comes from the leaves, which means we need 36. So we only got like what half, a little less than half steel leaf. All right. I guess we're going to go revisit the twilight. I'm trying to remember where you get steel leaf from. I think you can get it from the hollow hills and from the maze, the mazes. We might go to a new maze, uh, try and take out the chests there that have like the TNT under them and also maybe the spawn rooms that have the uh, Minas Shroom or Minotaur spawners in them, I think. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get on that. We'll be back, guys. All right, well, apparently I gotta be pretty careful here. Uh, one of those Minotaurs just hit me and took me down to the Red Hearts. Well, actually, I guess I got hit twice and I was recovering health in between, but ooh, that hurt a lot. Yeah, that's a lot of health that we've just went through in a short amount of time. Yeah. This mod pack has a thing with the more boss enemies you kill, the more damage regular enemies have. And uh, yeah, we've killed quite a few bosses and stuff. <laughs> that took a long time for the health to recover. All right, so there is double guarded chest here. I don't remember how these work. Is that a trap chest? That's just an oak chest. Okay, so no steel leaf here, but we got some iron wood. I guess that's all right. Uh, oh, definitely want my sight back here. <laughs> all right, well, that was the first chest. I was hoping that we'd get lucky. Oh boy. Oof. That took me down to yellow hearts. Man, these guys are crazy. Yeah, you definitely got to keep an eye out for them. All right, well, I'm going to hopefully get through here and not die. <laughs> anyway, we'll be back, guys. Oh, that's charge creeper. All right, guys, so after going through the Twilight Forest, we ended up with 31 steel leaf, which is not the amount that we need. We actually needed steel leaf seeds. We needed how many? Uh, 36, right? So four blocks worth. We don't have that, but I did find steel leaf armor there. So if we look at the uses for that, uh, we can see... If we put it through an arc furnace, we can get seven steel leaf from it. So that's pretty useful. We do need apparently the glowy version, which I think you craft normally. If you craft that armor, I'm actually not sure anyway. Um, but going back to what I was talking about here a moment ago, uses on this one, the Dawnstone anvil, we can also appear to smash it with a hammer and get seven steel leaf out of it as well. So that just needs a tinker hammer apparently on the Dawnstone anvil. So let's give that a go and see if that works. So Dawnstone anvil, we made this a while ago. All right, so we'll place this here. That's weird how it's kind of like off centered or whatever, not lined up. And then we need the tinker hammer. I guess we left click on it. Left click, shift left click. Oh no, right click. Um, okay, so that just gave me carpal tunnel from doing that. <laughs> but yeah, here we go, we got the steel leaf, so that's good. So we needed 36 of those, and then we want to turn those into blocks, so we'll combine them. And there it is. Awesome. Okay, so we have extra steel leaf armor, but once we make these seeds, we should have all of the steel leaf we'll ever want, so that won't matter anymore. All right, so now that we have that, we want to make the seeds, and those are intermedium, tier three, mana diamond. We've seen this before. Be right back. All right, well, with the 10, 10, 10 steel leaf seeds, we now have plenty of steel leaf, so we can continue on our quest here to make every single armor in this quest chain. All right, so there's that one, and here is the steel leaf boots to complete the set. 
and give me that quest complete. There it is. Awesome. Whoop, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this one. Okay, so Steel Leaf can go away. So the next thing in the quest line is the knightly armor. Ooh. So this requires knight metal, which we only have four of. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, so how do you get knight metal? Obviously, if we have the seeds. So armor shard cluster. Armor, oh, armor shards. We have 34 of those. That's not a whole lot. All right, uh, any other way to get this stuff? I guess we want to bookmark this so we can find it. So the armor shard cluster is a way. Uh, we have the block, obviously. Can we make the, is there like an alloy? No, it does not look like we can just melt things down. Okay, what else do we have here? We can recycle nightly plate, nightly sword, block and chain, nightly axe. Again, looks like we can do all of that here on the Dawnstone. What, giant pickaxe turns into it? So, nightly. Uh, block and chain, giant's hammer. Okay, well, it doesn't look like we have any of this stuff. So, in order to get the knightly armor, we have to go underneath the twilight forest into the depths under... I'm sorry, not under the twilight forest, under the, uh, the dark forest into the depths and kill the monsters there. Now, if it comes from the monsters that have the ball and chain, or if the ball and chain itself is a thing, we might want to look at capturing one of those and spawning those in. Uh, so we have a, was it mob entrapment tool? Mob entrap imprisonment is what it's called, imprisonment. So there is another one of those. So if we can go there, get one of those guys, capture them, we can use the same thing that we did on the pink slime to spawn in multiple, do looting six on them, and get a whole bunch of stuff. I think that's going to make a lot of sense, so... Back to the Twilight Forest we go. All right, so we're at the Dark Forest. I'm trying to find the path that we took before since I didn't bookmark it, or I didn't waypoint it, I guess. And we have some torches around, which will lead us to where we need to go. Yep, I could see on the on the map here, if we go here, and I set it to uh, Cave Lears, I could see that there was torches, and then we have the way into uh, that area down below. Anyway, it is a matter of us getting through the, <laughs> the roofed forest here, the dark forest, trying to find our previous path and then getting inside. Ooh, what was that? A forest raven, you shouldn't be here. There, I saved you. You're no longer in the scary area. Uh, all right, I don't think that was the way we went in. There is definitely a path in that we took before, but finding it is gonna be the fun part. It might be here. And our trophy. Maybe we can just break in at this point. Yeah, I think we're fine to just drop in here. Uh, this place isn't shielded or whatever. So we need to find ourselves one of those monsters that we're looking for. The ball and chain guys. And I see a bunch of like vanilla monsters over here. Zombies, weather skeletons, all sorts of stuff. I see some red marks. Maybe we'll try and get over that direction and find one of these guys, put them into the mob imprisonment tool, and then hopefully we'll be able to spawn them in. All right, guys. Well, I found a spawner, and in this spawner, it is spawning these shell things, and I think those drop the shards that we're looking for. Let me get rid of some of this stuff so we're not making all sorts of noise here. I think those might spawn in, or those might drop these armor shard pieces that we're looking for. Not actually a hundred percent sure on that um but i did find some night metal and chests along the corridors here so that's another possibility let's see what happens if i kill one of these guys are they dropping we have 14. oh i can't get this guy there we go 16. so yeah these guys do in fact drop what we're looking for so that's good uh 21. So if I kill enough of these guys, we should get them. All right, well, this is definitely a thing that we can do. Uh, there's another spawner back there. I'm not sure what the other spawner has. Let's 
light this up for just a moment. Let's see what this other spawner is. I think, oh, it's another one. All right, let's get rid of the bars. Skeleton, anything else back here? Okay, so steel leaf stuff, nothing too fantastic. Ironwood, maze map. All right, so really uh, just kind of got to wait for these things to spawn in then. I, yeah, I guess I'm just going to farm them here. There's two spawners, might as well. I can just stand up here and then uh, kill them from down below, right? Anyway, uh, I'm going to do that and hopefully collect enough of this stuff and then we'll be right back, guys. Well, I ended up still touching the spawners. I got tired of waiting on them. We can do this a lot faster using the apotheosis spawners, right? So we have that, we have redstone control, we have minimum spawn delay reduction and maximum spawn delay reduction. So with all that together, we should be able to farm these up real fast. So let's go ahead and see if we can remove our existing landlord spawner here. Keep our silk touch going and grab this guy. All right, so that was this one. And this has a min delay of zero, max delay of 20. And I think if we place this in here, it should be pretty much the same. And I think the red, oh, I got the jetpack on. And I think the redstone control should be working as well. Let's go ahead and do that. So if I place that there, it should stop until I turn it back on with that lever. So let's put these in here. So that brings us down to a min delay of zero. And then we do the timer. I don't remember if you put if we put one in there. Oh yeah, just one. Can't, oh, I could put all three of those. Ooh, max delay is zero. All right, so this is gonna be real fast. Or maybe it's just straight broken. Oh, actually, maybe I do have to relink it. I didn't think I had to. Redstone, this thing. All right, so if we do a right click onto here. Oh, it says that it's working. Maybe I broke it. Maybe you can't put a min delay of zero seconds on there. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on, actually. We have the redstone. Yeah, the spawner just isn't working. Did I screw something up? Hmm. Whoa, careful. Is there a way for me to remove upgrades from the, from the spawner? Can I do like a shift right click on there? Uh-uh. Okay, well... I guess we can try that again. That one might be broken. <laughs> uh, thankfully, we have a second one. I won't go too crazy. We'll just do one timer because I know that worked in the past. Whoa. Okay, I guess that works too. So, uh, helmet crab. This is the, the new one. Place that there. We need to get ourselves a new comparator, which is fine. One, two, three of those. Comparator gets. Put that right here. That should stop it. Does the redstone work now? Why does the redstone not work? I don't get it. Do I have to... Maybe the other one did work, and maybe it's just this thing needs to be, like, broken or replaced or something. I don't know. We'll try this again. So if I do a shift right click, and then a right click... I mean, the line's going there showing that it's working. And then I put a lever here... Why is that not working now? This was working previously. Hmm. Do I have to put the ignore spawn conditions in there maybe? But you'd think the mob would still be spinning. I feel like there's something I'm... Oh. Well, that's spawned even though the thing isn't going, so there must be some visual glitch. I wonder if I put this one back in there if it'll just work and go like crazy. Let's try that. Let's try putting this one back then. I was thinking the redstone wasn't working, but if it's just a visual glitch. Oh boy. Okay, that's a lot of those guys. <laughs> Alright, I need to turn my magnet off. Wow. Okay. Well, that's a thing that we can do, in case you guys are wondering. <laughs> All right, that spawner is a little ridiculous. The fact that you can do zero tick spawning, <laughs> it's just absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, so here's our nightly helm, our nightly plate, our nightly greaves, and our nightly boots. 
We still got plenty of night stuff from uh, just all of the spawning that we did. And I went ahead and made the 10-10-10 uh, seeds here. So we have those done as well. All right, so let's go into our quest book real quick. We'll claim this. Uh, actually, let's just click the claim all button here. And then also for our seeds, we should have a few of them. So yeah, we have the steel leaf, the refined glowstone, and the night metal. We'll claim all of those. And yeah, those are all been 10, 10, 10 today as well, which is fantastic. 50 more RAK. I would like to upgrade my sword to the next level, but again, as we saw before, uh, this particular item is broken right now. This was the Void Craft Void Star previously. And since this recipe is broken, we can't do this at the moment. So as soon as this quest gets fixed, we uh, should be able to get some blizz and then upgrade this and get looting 20, which would be really, really good. But we'll have to wait on that for a little bit longer. Anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap the episode up here for today. Uh, we made some progress on the quest, or, or made some quest progress on the armor progression. I would like to be able to make armor that I can actually wear and use and try and upgrade past this uh, crazy beetle looking armor thing, but we'll have to wait just a little bit longer on that. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.